We just made the easiest reusable stencil ever. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. This week, we got viewer mail. We got a lot of requests about doing a reusable stencil since we use stencils on everything. Everything. So we did a little bit of research and we found what we think is the easiest way to make a reusable stencil. We ordered emulsion sheets from Easy Screen Print. They came in this envelope. I'm nothing fancy to show you yet. Not yet. <laughs> and we're using printable transparencies that we ordered off of Amazon. And so it's a pretty simple step, mm -hmm. three step process, I guess. You're going to print on your printable transparency. You're going to lay the emulsion sheet over it, put a glass top on it, take it out to the sunlight and expose it. We'll go ahead and get started, but we have to turn the lights down because these emulsion sheets are sensitive to light. So we have a lot of lights shining on us right now. We'll have to turn them down. Yep. All right, you wanna hit those? All right, glass. Glass. Transparency. Transparency. Fa facing in the right direction. Top secret sheets. <laughs> Gotta work fast. Gotta work fast. You don't have to work that fast. Gotta work fast. So fast. Wait, look at your dilly dallying over there. Okay. Peel the shiny backing off. My big gorilla thumbs. You can discard that. Shiny side down, lay it on top of the transparency. Check. And the directions say to put something black over top, a black board. And we'll be using this tray later, so we're gonna use the back of this tray. And you can clip it to your glass if you'd like, but I think we'll be fine. I'll be steady. All right, now we'll take it outside and expose it in direct sunlight for one minute. Okay, we're in direct sunlight. One minute. <laughs> All right. Sorry, it's a little wet. All right, now we put it in the water. Now you just lay it right in the water, a pan of water, and let it soak for 15 minutes. All right. And let me show you this ghost image. Ooh, so ghosty. Oh, I can see the reflection of the light up above. Oh, how do you see it? 15 minutes later. So you gotta let it cure in the direct sunlight for about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll wait it out. Okay. <laughs> 15 minutes later. All right, it's all dry. Seems pretty rugged. Now we're gonna try to use it. Yeah, we're gonna put it on this nice chalkboard tray. First, we're gonna use multiple we're going to show you how we can reuse it yeah. on multiple surfaces we're going to make it reusable that's the plan anyway you can use any acrylic paint this happens to be the speedball paint that we purchased Let me just do this one again so I can pull tight. Maybe I should just tape that to well, the I'll side. Hold it. I'll, I'll hold it down in the corner while you do it. Okay. Oh. 
Are you using my kitchen spatula? Yeah, we just got all kitchen all the time. Why don't you just use this thing? Because you gotta get a lot on here first. To drag it across. He literally went and got that out of my kitchen cabinet drawer. <laughs> Alright, we'll drag it across now. Okay, yeah, drag it across. We're just dragging the paint across the stencil. There's a little, little bug on there. What's that about? I don't know, we didn't bring anything to lay it on, did we? Well, here, I'll scoop it back up with this thing. That's why I got this thing. And then I put it back in here. Scoop it off. With my kitchen utensils. Alright, we're gonna peel it wet. Woohoo! That looks Woo good. Alright, the thing about what makes these stencils, Pretty these cool, huh? screen print stencils so great is that the detail. Yes. So the detail on this, these little dandelions, which is why we chose this one, is so small that I'm not sure the cricket would actually cut oh, no way that this level of detail. No way. So that's another great use of this thing is that if you have something that's really detailed, it will cut it or it, it will, I guess, expose and rinse off so it will have that detailed image and then on top of that if the cricket could cut it the weeding alone would oh. probably kill you <laughs> now, weeding would have taken longer than 15 minutes to soak in the water true true all right so project one complete now let's try it on a t-shirt now should i oh or a this or this bag i'm gonna start small with a bag all right hey do you want to use the easy press to uh to flatten that thing out nice and neat? Yes. Thing in there. All right, good enough. Wanna... All right, I'm just right. gonna scoop across. Still on the easy press mat. I need more ink. It. Yep. Oh, that Looks came out good. Great. May have done. May have needed a little more ink at the bottom, but that's okay. You might want to show. Let them. me do it. <laughs> oh, leave that in. We gotta press it for a second. Set the ink. Oh, all right. Well, I'll hold it up. Well, look at that detail. I mean, look at the butterfly, that's crazy. Just 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, good job, babe. Another good one. All right, that was it. That's our reusable stencil. Pretty durable. You can flip flop it around. <laughs> and we made two projects using the same stencil. Soft surface? Hard surface. They both came out the same, so it came out great. <laughs> what do you think of today's project? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. And what projects do you want to see? We love your feedback. They give us great ideas for new projects each week. Each week.
Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my thunder. <laughs> the last word. <laughs>